And now we just want to have a little bit of fun by uh, tilting one of these supporting beams in the back just to kind of show you how um, Revit can work and be kind of cool and how the 3D um, beam systems work. So I'm going to hover and grab this one girder right here. Right now it says it's going from zero to zero off of level two. Well, if I bump this number up, let's say 1800, which is about six feet and click out, what's happening is that girder corner or that one end of it is about to go up vertically by about six feet. And because the beam system or even, even any beam that's attached to the end of it, the one thing about structural is all of the nodes are all kind of talking to each other. So as you stretch and move things around, the structural components are going to do their very best to try to update accordingly. Now, it's telling me it's not crazy about the work plane, but regardless, I can click out and click on here and do a shift middle mouse. You can see how that's tilted those um, joists up. And I can grab this guy now after the fact and do the same thing, 1800. That won't take so long. And then now I can grab this HSS column and say up to the roof plus, you know, 1800. And it'll bump itself up as well. Okay, so beam systems come in uh, really handy when we want to do some fancy kind of tilted roof stuff.